Check what y'all think before we start. Do y'all more like looks or personality type of people? Three, two, one. Oh! oh! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Nicholas from build a and today I'm hosting a very special episode of Versus One. We've brought in eight guys to speed date two bachelorettes, and we're gonna find out what really matters more to them. Appearance, personality. Hey, Hi everyone. Anime, everyone looks good. Give us a little twirl, everyone. Give us a little twirl. Let's see it. Okay, yeah, we're doing a little fit check. And there we go. None of these niggas got that shit on except for bro over here with this. How y'all feel about stack jeans? Yeah. I think really to get to know someone, you have to know. Who they are, like where they come from, what they just are. What you say? First, right? The first thing you notice. Parents, because yeah. parents are visibly it's more pleasing than once you get started to know the person. Then that's when the personality starts to come. The looks definitely get you in the door, but the personality is what makes or breaks it yeah. for sure. Well, good news is you kind of get to test both of those theories out today. So, are we ready? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. So, welcome yeah. to yeah. her. Dennis, nigga, that's just Dion. If anything, to me. today. So, are we ready? Feeling good. Y'all see it? Am I good? tripping? Nigga, I see Jadeon if he ain't ever go ball right here, bro. This nigga with the box. Gay? So, welcome. These niggas are not gay. Welcome to curtain number one. You're gonna meet Bachelorette number one, but yeah, you're what's up, kid? only gonna get to meet her personality. Hey, I'll let you guys get to it. I'm just gonna right. like, leave you guys. Do it. Good luck. I think, bro, I'm so good at voices, I can tell what's on the other side of the curtain with the voice. Hey there, how's it going? Hi! Hey, nice to meet you, I'm Dylan. My name is Dijon, by the way. Dijon, I'm Megan. What are your uh, hobbies? I like cooking and baking. I love to go to the beach and just lay there. I love to read. I'm a math tutor also, so. How's her name? <sighs> she kinda big, man, she kinda big, she kinda big. I could work with a big hoe though. Let's not get this shit fucked up, okay? It's just advice to all the fat go the girls that's watching at home, just in case. Uh, I could work with a big hoe. I don't know about y'all. Do that mean I like big girls? No. It's just like weight is like you can really like get a bitch like you could transform a hoe if that makes sense. Yeah, Kim <laughs> Field. You know, yeah, yeah from some Kim Field. Me dead. Keep me up loud. It's a jacket though. What was that? You know from Kim Field. Oh my god, I'm Megan. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Um, I know it's like the worst question ever, but no worries. I'm. I guess like the sensitive artistic type, I guess. I'm a cancer. I'm from Virginia. Oh, VA, what you doing out here? Um, I just moved out here for work. What you do? Social media. Oh, Jesus. I know, I know. <laughs> One of those. First red flag. For, wait, wait, for who, for who, for who? Uh, myself. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what type of videos do you make? Most recently, I feel like I've gotten into the beauty and fashion niche, but I also make comedy content, a lot about like relationships, sometimes get ready with me's. I love watching the get ready with me's. Whenever I see them, I don't skip them. I have to watch them all the way through. I but yeah, I was saying this seemed like a setup because she seemed nice as fuck and cool as shit. I know, they're so good and they're so fun to make too. I do social media as well. So I'm, I'm vegan the and I make food, with the rolls, so kind of like my thing, yeah. My best friend's vegan, so I try out some new recipes with her every once in a while. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, how do you like it? Do you like vegan food? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I've never been vegan, but the food's good. So what is your ideal first date? Axe throwing, <laughs> just something interactive, oh keeping goodness. engaged in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throwing? I ain't never went axe throwing. Yo, yo, what's y'all's go-to first date? I think, like, I ain't never did this one, but I think I'm becoming a picnic type of nigga. Yeah, yeah. But I think if you do picnics, you you gotta take a bitch, like, out of town. You don't want to get caught, if that makes sense. Yo, Reg, I appreciate the gift to the bedroom. Prison, nigga, you can't take a bitch to the bedroom on the first night. Oh, uh, axe throwing kind of fun. Said nigga, fuck up. Are you, do they be heavy at them? Are you got to throw that hell like this with two hands or you could just flick it with one? I might have to go hit that. I say cart, cart racing, but shit's been getting expensive. You see that's what I'm saying? Like, I don't, bruh, call me broke, call me what you want. I don't really want to go on a first date where it be too expensive. David Busters, Tiffany, you still in high school. That's why I can't do that. It just be a bunch of little kids over there. But look, uh, yeah, I don't like to spend too much money. You got to go somewhere where it's cheap. We start with $100 and do everything with profits. 100 is crazy. I say more like a 40 ball, maybe even a coffee date. Something cheap so you can get to know her. Uh, my last one was a coffee date last week. Shit cheap and all y'all do is talk. 
Exactly what I'm saying though. I've never done that before and that sounds like a blast. What about you? Something I would love is like getting a picnic blanket, throwing it down on the beach somewhere where there aren't a lot of people, getting a bottle of wine and just drinking from the bottle and looking at the ocean. That's like the earliest thing I could possibly say, I think, but I love it. Is that interactive Damn, enough for you? The ocean and shit. Y'all ever went to the beach? Y'all what's like? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, this reaction gonna take too long. Fuck you, it. it is what it is. I got questions to ask. Yeah, what's the go-to spot for like, if you trying to go to the beach, huh? In the States. That is in Miami, though. Santa Cruz. It's California. Let me see what it look like. Yo, Cali, I heard Cali dirty. Oh, this is GTA 5, ain't it? Nigga, you should've just said, uh, what's it called? Los Santos. Nah, but I heard there's too many homeless people over there in like, uh, California, and it be looking dirty. Padre Island. Have y'all ever went to these spots? Like, this is just spots that y'all know of off the top of y'all heads. Niggas know the answer to everywhere, but never been there. Mirla Beach. Ooh, this beach look nice. Where this hoe at? Right. My bad. You know what? I take this shit back. Fuck to my bed. Nigga. Oh, South Carolina? They got beaches in South Carolina? See, I think resorts is the place to go, bro. I think if you're going to go to a trip, you just got to go to Mexico, fam. This shit don't even look too good. Because, yeah, right here is like, boom, the beach. But then, boom, now you just go back to the regular city. You got to leave, like, the whole country. Niggas trying to make me shit like a dumbass. I take it. I have an idea. Uh, would you like to go to the beach and have a picnic <laughs> and drink some wine? Oh, my God, yes! I love it. Um, I, I bring up... Have you this the type of nigga that, like, take all the bitches around 30 years old, though. Niggas like this. Like he's a Chad or whatever the fuck they call him. Play the game, we're not really strangers. I've heard of it, but I haven't played it. Tell me about it. There's like three stages and um, it's just, you know, little by little, opening each other up and just getting to know each other. Oh my gosh, how intimate. How What's scary. that game called? What's that game called? We're not really strangers. Okay. Just, you know, little by little, opening each other up and just. Are some black pill content? What's black pill? I heard a red pill. Blue pill? What the fuck is a black pill? Oh my gosh, how intimate, how scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's ended with like tears sometimes, which is oh, really like nice. Oh, sound like some wanna play that on our first date? Why not? I don't know. We're just I mean, like- up, bro. My bad, yo. I'm interested, man. You said black pill content? It says incels. Black pill is for broken men. Because I used to look like this, and now I look like this. And now, I got plenty of girls sliding in my DMs. I get plenty of attention, unlimited compliments, but it's empty vanity because it's not gonna fill your soul. Just because you think that people will give you more attention because of your looks does not mean that there's a real connection. You niggas are lost, fam. Or are you relate? Relate to? I don't watch this bullshit. Like, I watched a few Hamza videos and then I was like, fuck this nigga. Be I how another nigga gonna tell me about how I'm supposed to fix my life? Nigga, you don't know me, nigga. Oh, bro, I don't know. This shit cool, though, I guess, if that's what you fuck with. It's inspirational, but take everything you hear with a grain of salt on the internet. Uh, but it's, it's a lot of truth to what they be saying. Is that what black pill is? Or I thought that was red pill, though. Am I tripping? Oh, here it goes. A hundred black pill beliefs in one video. So this is what y'all believe in? This black pill shit? We finna tune in. I'm finna see. I'm finna see. Well, I joined black pill today. I don't know, nigga. Let's see. Uh, what is blue pill, bro? I don't fuck with none of that shit, bro. I don't believe in none of it. Let's see this. This blue pill is like the One. opposite of fresh Looks are the most important factor for man stating success. Two, women care about looks more than men. Three. That shit's not true. The first two is not true at all. I ain't gonna lie. We finna debunk all these right here. Looks is the most important for man's dating success. Uh, I I ain't gonna say it's a hundred percent not true, but to an extent, it's not true. If that makes sense, I don't know how to explain that. Like you don't gotta be, you could be, you could be like this nigga right here. And if you just got a lot of charisma to you, and you willing to put up hella shots, shots is gonna fall. One looks but are the most. The tan, the tan off the rip. He gonna get more shots thrown at him. Like the ball gonna come his way more times without him looking for it important factor for man's dating success yeah, got some truth to it. two women care about looks more than men no 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 
Jay Z, nigga. Let's talk about it. That nigga Jay Z. When you take all the money away from Jay Z, no disrespect to that nigga, but come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come on, fam. Beyonce, you take, you strip Beyonce of every single dollar. All the niggas in chat that still wanna fuck with her, nigga. Then you proving this point? They said women care more about looks than men. Women do not care more about looks than men. That's cap. Men care more about looks than women. We can't agree on that? That's what I think. And before Lil Baby had all the money, nigga, they want they was calling Lil Baby a pit bull, nigga. I remember that shit. I ain't forget when I was in middle school. And then they flipped around like that. He got dreads, ran it up, got a little bigger chains, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I ain't forget. Ain't no dude wanna be with or even friends with somebody who ugly. Women care more about personality? Nah, for real. Three. This is mainly because women are much more selective in their Women are more selective. Um, um, it depends on what type of women we're talking about. But like girls get, they get more, like good looking girls have more options. So it's like, shit, I mean. Mate choice. Their dating strategy can be compared to a single line fisherman trying to catch the highest quality fish. What's, what's wrong with that though? Meanwhile, four. I'm saying niggas will fuck anything, bro, sadly. Uh, do I fall into a group of niggas? Nah, nigga, not at all. But like I was saying, niggas will fuck anything. We got niggas right now that hunt down on some big hoes that if they homeboys came around the corner, they'll try and run away from. You see what I'm saying? But just because they're alone, they think it's okay. Girls ain't really doing it, bro. Um, Most on. men take have no standards. It's facts. Whatever they can get. It's facts, bro. But we got dicks. That's different. Like we can do that, fam. You know? When that motherfucker get up, it get up. We you just you lose all you can't really think no more. So shit, can you blame us? They're like sea trawlers throwing a big net into the ocean, picking up whatever. There's a lot of men out there that will pretty much go with anyone, attractive or unattractive. Five, looks is becoming even more important for guys now because of the explosion of online dating apps. Okay, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Black pill, y'all just, okay, y'all niggas is fucked. Who said they was black pill? Timmy, this was you? If you sitting here and you coming up with all these theories as to why you can't get bitches, man, this is a terrible look, fam. I think the problem lies deeper than this shit. Why do you Six, care this much? looks is also becoming more important because women are exposed to more and more options daily. What's the so fastest are, way so to are niggas, fam. So are narrow niggas. down 100 options? Easy. And it was Just get like this. Niggas, we take away the internet right now and a girl look good and she walk outside. Niggas is gonna shoot. What the fuck do that mean? I know niggas who fuck guys. <laughs> I don't, nigga. I don't know who the fuck you be around. You want wild ass niggas. Niggas talking about, I know some niggas that fuck niggas. That's how horny they is. Swear to God, I've never been there where I go right now. And this motherfucker be going up. I'm talking Cialis, honey packs, black honey, the pink honey. I done took the bitch version before because I was down bad. Nice to meet you. Oh, hey. All right, let's finish this video. Wait, that's so cute. Okay. Do you speak Spanish? No. Do you speak Spanish? I do. See, and I see in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. Oh my God. But I came here so to play soccer. Bro, I'm not see shit like this. That's what gets the bitches going. The nigga could do everything. And he probably got a good job. Or what's good, bro? What's the word? I see you got some woman on the spring. What exactly is going on here? It's a freak ass on right Photographer out here. That's kind of sexy. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> what? Photographer or soccer? Uh. Well, Both? all of it. Okay. <laughs> Want to just do a bit of like a uh, word association? Word association? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 No, that's okay. so fun. So like, uh, first word, I guess, uh, family. Mine. Uh, just <laughs> what? Uh, uh, that's that's something. Uh, veganism. X. <laughs> Volleyball. Oh, fun. And the last one, I guess, uh, One Piece. Swimsuit. Am I saying something wrong? Y'all are laughing. <laughs> 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 I mean, it, was just, it was just getting good. Wait. <laughs> All right. Welcome to curtain number two. Okay, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, curtain number one, it took us how long to get through five minutes of the video, bro? This shit's sad, fam. But look, check this shit out. Her personality ain't nothing crazy. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't nothing crazy. <laughs> Here, you're gonna meet Bachelorette. She's just a regular human being. This bitch gotta be a cardboard box. Like, she gotta be boring as fuck and just fine. Number two, but there's a bit of a difference. You're gonna be able to see her 
but you can't talk to her at all. And she can't say anything back to you guys either. Alrighty guys, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, three, two, one. Oh! So again, she can't say anything. Nah, bro, she looked like her dad. Bust out my special talent? Yeah, go ahead. Is, yeah, How much space do you need? Oh. What is this? You see, he trying to show out and see, I told you I don't like his ass. He always trying to do something. Um, oh. <laughs> back up, boys. Back up, boys. I grew up in the circus when I was five. Oh, what the? So I can balance. Oh, Dude, this guy can do everything. Come on, man. You can't take this nigga nowhere, bro. What are you doing? The bitches pop up and this nigga gets to what? Juggling? Ain't that a stool on, her, on his chin? Hey, how you even learn this shit? <laughs> Yo, he real life trying to show up, though. That's the craziest thing. Now, I'd rather have this nigga just put me in a headlock than this bullshit. I can't lie. Because at least the headlock, the host can see through it and be like, oh, that nigga lying. This shit right here, he won. I can't lie. Because he stand up the most. Let's go. Okay, I can balance too. Check this out. Well, it's not that impressive if I have to hold you. Uh, okay. Actually, maybe I can a sponsor Factor. Factor makes meeting your to your doorstep. And Let me skip a trip to when I grocery store. So five dot coms. And you've met Bachelorette number two. It's time for the big decision. So basically, what's gonna happen? If you feel like you're vibing with Bachelorette number one more, Cardi's about to drop a new song at eight thirty. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Duh. Yeah, we oh featuring Yaddy. See, you shouldn't have told me that one. You're gonna line up right behind the curtain number one. If you feel like you're vibing with Bachelorette number two, you're gonna line up right over here. You guys ready? All right, go ahead. Make whatever choice feels right. Listen to your heart. I can see, I can see Megan, like I can see her back from over here. You see what I'm saying? Like they don't see this, but I can see back before I see ass. So I think this bitch, she might be a Discord mod. Y'all getting set up. You don't know what's on the other side of that curtain, bro. They talking about personality. Like hell no, nah, bro. That's one of them. As long as you happy, motherfucker. No disrespect to her, but I'm cool. But I come stand inside this girl line right here. At least I know what I'm getting. She kind of big though. That bitch look huge. Uh, yeah, I seen a couple today, right? And I think I want a girl that's 6'5", bro. I can't lie. I seen a couple today at Target. The nigga, he was like 5'6", and she was like 6'1", right? And that, it just looked fire to me. He looked like that man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he just looked like that nigga because his bitch so big. Where a solo crybaby ass at? That's y'all business. He want to be able to fit in her pocket? Ah, nigga, I just feel like they should make a nigga look fire. Like, Damn. How you get that bitch? Because usually bitches get like niggas that's taller. How many niggas you know fucking with a bitch that's taller than them? Come on, bro. Free game. My friends up here, you made the decisions really quickly. What, what was going through your heads? I already had my mind made up. Oh. Honestly, I just really thought that I could, you know, see myself maybe potentially go on a date with this person because yeah. I, really, I really liked her personality. She seems very outgoing and I feel like I'm that type of person too. The, the second person is really, really pretty, but not really uh, the type that I would usually date. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, number two is like usually what I date. Bro, but, yeah, um, she too big. Ain't she like 6'11", bro? See, she, she, she lanky and shit, man. I don't know. We had a great conversation and... Yeah, and you don't want to give that up. No, I'm down for that beach date. Well, My two nigga, friends... I bet you like this nigga finna show out again. Carl, what's good? Why she finna do a handstand and do a cartwheel with no hands? Some fruit shit like that. Or in the minority, but you're standing strong. Tell me what's going through your head right now. What made this decision for you? It was the Megan thing, you know? She just didn't go with a bit, <laughs> and <laughs> it's unforgivable. Megan, come back to the bar. No! Megan! Yeah, no, for me, in the time that we did have, um, I didn't necessarily feel like we connected a whole lot. And then initially, just looking at Retro number two, I just felt initially there would be more to, uh, oh to gather from there. So 
That's a whip I had my decision. We're gonna yeah, reveal yeah. what see. Bachelorette number one looks like, and you're gonna get a chance to kind of vibe with her in person. Let's see, chat right. One in chat if y'all think she finna be bad, two in chat if this shit a mistake. Hold on, let me get on my computer. Y'all, are we ready to meet Bachelorette number one? Yes. 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 Three, two, two one. <laughs> Should I just watch it on my own or should we see it at the same time? I feel like if I see it first, I get to see it first. You know what I'm saying? Like as the teacher and shit. Same time? Nigga, you sure, bro? Stop blue balling. Nigga, your dick hard watching me? You need to turn this shit off. Was it AI? Oh, oh, it's a There's no one oh, there. Oh, what's up? No, I was like, wait, yeah, wait a minute. We know you. So. Man, this shit a lose lose, bro. She look like her motherfucking dad, bro. I don't want this shit. God damn. I thought it was supposed to be a surprise on the other side. You guys. What the fuck was the point of this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now this shit said if I seen somebody else. Have been dating the same girl in both curtains. The boys have made their choice, but Megan, it's time for you to make your choice. Do you want to bring line number one into the next round of dating, or do you want to bring line number two into the next line of dating? We have this line who picked you for your personality and did that speed dating. You have line number two who saw you and they were just so mesmerized by your beauty that they picked you. Do you have a decision made? Yeah, so yeah, I was wrong. She actually, she don't look bad at all. Basically, they hate- I'm just, I don't like milk, that's it. My personality and they hate the way I look. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, okay, okay, hear me out. I've, I've been thinking about this since we've been standing here. And when I was standing in this line, you guys were saying reasons that you didn't like her, not reasons that you liked her. And statistically speaking, there's more of you here. So, group one. All right, group one! I have a better chance of finding, like, my husband. You know? <laughs> or boyfriend, sorry. <laughs> It's probably because she's seen the little nigga up front, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? And I can tell she don't like black guys, obviously. Yeah, I see who won, bro. Because, like, okay, statistically speaking, y'all, who y'all think, like, the best looking guy here? Man. Fuck that shit. I don't even want to do that, bro. You know what? Come on. I don't know how to have that convo without it sounding gay, you know? No offense. The first nigga in line? Circus nigga? Yeah, it's either him or Jadeon. I ain't gonna lie. Jadeon got a little something, something. It's either, I think the circus got what? Nah, watch him back here win. He like a sleeper build. Silence again. Well, group number two, it's been real. It's been fun. We love ya. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you again. Hi. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> All right, so you're oh, here okay. now. He's yeah, I didn't think I'd make it this far. But are What's you happy? up, TJ? I guess so. He eliminated. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm so sorry. No. I hope the stool thing didn't scare you off. No, that was actually so impressive. Like, so, okay, tell me about how you found out you could do that. Um, The doctor prescribed me Adderall when I was like six. Okay. And my parents were like, no, let's just send him to circus school and that will fix his focus. Oh, you were dead ass. What else can you do? Um, like, Floor is yours. Oh, ride a unicycle, walk on my hands. I don't have a unicycle Joke. for you. I have a unicycle I though. Is it here? No, it's <laughs> Wait, I see you have tattoos. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's talk about it. So, this is a. Uh... I don't like that nigga, bro. It's like, the first chance he get, he want to go back to talking about the freak shit he just did. A, a quote My dad gave me the greatest gift a father could give his son. He believed in me. What about you? I don't have any, but I'm not against getting any. Um, I, I thought about getting one on my spine, but the problem is I have scoliosis. Oh. <laughs> so I think about it, and it kind of makes me laugh, because I'm like, it would be like, if I wanted it to be straight, it would actually be like curved. A snake. <gasps> good idea. Yeah. I like it to be good. Yeah, that's right. We'd be like, yeah. yeah. His voice shaking, yeah, I'll peep that. That nigga a little nervous. He wanted them. He like white girls. It's okay, though. It's like, I, I wouldn't really say a little nervous, bro. 
That's very nervous, but shit, it shit happens. Niggas get nervous and shit. That's a great idea, actually. Where do we leave off? Situations? You didn't know what One Piece was, so okay, tell no. me about it. It's a cartoon about a pirate oh, with rubber powers. She doesn't different. know about anime. Why do you? Why are you telling her? Change the subject. It's stupid, but it's deeper than what I just oh, said. Okay. It's been going on for like 20 years or so, and I've been following the story along for like eight, and I have an obsession like when, when I start years. something. I want to know how it ends. I totally so get that. So it's like that's like me with Riverdale. Oh my it's like horrible, God. right? It's, it's like, so no, horrible. it's horrible. Like I can't, I can't stop. I just need to know what happens to that. Do you like to travel? I do. Okay, yeah. awesome. When Important. you say travel, like backpacking through Europe, staying at okay. hostels and kind of, that's not really what I like to do. I like to think that I am like that kind of person, but when I travel, I mean, I like to just, you know, see the city and stay somewhere that's comfortable. Okay, oh. tell me the story of how your parents met. I love you. Okay, so I actually got married super quick. We're saying for mine. Six months. Six weeks? Month. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, they... my dad, he proposed after oh. six weeks. Okay. I, I love that. Phrase. You're on a timeline. When he knows. <laughs> yeah, when you exactly. know, you know. When you know, you know. So when you're in a healthy relationship, what is it usually like for you? The healthiest relationship. Is this your for sleeper, me? bro? Nah, no, it's not. It, nigga, it's not my sleeper. I'm seeing it from her point of view. I'm guessing she like white guys. So it's like, that's why I said sleeper. It's just best friends. Oh, Solo was timed out in Twitch chat? For how long? Cool. If you can laugh at each other, get along, mm -hmm. like, dance, do stupid things. Riverdale? What the fuck is Riverdale? That's a TV show? Six weeks? Yeah, six weeks is insane. Um, uh, I think I got to do, before we get proposed, how long y'all waiting before proposal? I think proposal, man, but six weeks is crazy as shit. I guess if you know, you know, nigga, yeah, all right, bro. That's why, like, most 50% of marriages end, right? Because if they know, they know. What the fuck happened today? I don't believe in that bullshit. I got to give her at least two years, bro. We got to do two years, and then we got to do, like, a year living together. So, really, three years, and then, boom, propose. Because that shit crazy. Like, when you get married, you don't want to separate. All I know is, like, years, that's what I'm saying. You got to put in some time. And you got to give time for the first person to fuck up. Like, people going to fuck up. Ain't no such thing as a perfect relationship. So I was like, eh, I want to see true colors first. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I don't like things to be. Did you watch the show Power? Nah. The last show I watched, what's up, Solo, was ATM. Too serious. If you're having a lot of serious conversations all the time, I just want things to come naturally. I don't yeah. want to force them. What do you look for in somebody? I feel like I'm, I'm good, like, in what's up, what's group up, what's settings up, like and you? public situations. I'm not like super confident and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but I have like a lot of like self-confidence. Yeah. yeah. So Wait, what I'm you confident and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but I have like a lot of like self-confidence. Not like super confident and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but I have like a lot of like self-confidence. Yeah. So I really like being with somebody who is confident in those ways because then it can like bring it out of me. And stuff right, like you kind of like balance each other yeah. out. Yeah. He yeah. lost. Are you religious or spiritual yourself? I'm a beautiful balance of the middle. What oh about you? Ah, bro, this nigga like he does everything. What the fuck do they even mean? He said he in the back, he in the middle with it. What does that mean? Um, my family is Christian, but I don't really identify with anything. Mm -hmm. But he know what he doing, bro. He know how to stay in the middle. So just in case if she like on some atheist shit, he could jump over there. But if she full on Christian, he could have jumped over there. Like smart guy. You're, like from the current, your voice was so vibrant. Like the first hello that you did oh, was so God. vibrant. Yeah, you're like and a well, healthy balance in that. You're definitely um, showing that. You're like, from the current, your voice was so vibrant. Like the first hello that you did oh, was so yes. vibrant. And I thought about that, it was so funny. I thought about my, after my first hello and I was like, that was so loud and obnoxious. Yeah, Man, this nigga nasty, bro. This is nasty work. And she believe in all that shit. You remember the first hello? There, how's it going? Hi. Yeah. Just like <laughs> no, I love that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> like my dad still gets my mom roses. Now he got it locked. He's gonna win. For her. That's the type of relationship that I want. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Like with my parents, like seeing how much love they have for each other and so how that's much they love like all of their kids too. It's just been. I feel like that is my relationship that I kind of aspire to have. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice to meet you. Bro, that and that's <laughs> Megan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Why I get five well, rows in the ad? Why I get five ads in a row? Man, look, bro. Motherfucking tuition ain't gonna pay itself, man. Watch them motherfucking ads, boy. Get to it. Get to it. That nigga pants tight as hell. That's not even that bad. 
I don't wore tighter shit than this. This is not bad at all. <laughs> Megan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Amazing. Well, we're kind of at a moment of truth right now, guys, and Megan's gonna pick one of you to possibly go on a date outside of these four walls. I think I've made my decision. It was really hard, because you guys are like very nice and very easy to talk to. But I definitely did pick somebody that I think we have some chemistry, there might be something there. I love it. Well, do you wanna go ahead and let the boys know? <laughs> okay. Um, Horacio? Yeah! You wanna go on a second date? Absolutely. Perfect! Okay! Like I told y'all, bro. We knew this shit. This is, I said this shit at the beginning of the video, bro. Y'all niggas got to talk about my pies, bro. I knew it. And I haven't gotten your screen notifications at all for like a month. I think they be saying unfollow and then follow again. But shit. Hey, I respect it though. I don't like him, but like his mouthpiece, he got one on him. Like the nigga, like he full calm collected. He said a lot without saying a lot, if that makes sense. Smart guy. We did it! Yeah! yeah. We did it. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so no, bad. That wasn't so bad. Horacio, the chosen one, how are you feeling? I feel really good. good. I'm really happy that she chose me. Well, I'm curious to know, because I remember you were one of the ones that was confidently picking the personality line. Mm -hmm. So like, when you're dating, how do you weigh appearance versus personality? I honestly value both. Mm -hmm. So I try to find the balance. I definitely have dated someone you where- You a hater low key? Less on I, and then I can't be a hater if I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I like to find now like a middle ground. And she is actually like, like very much my type. I did have doubts though. Yeah. Yeah. Like I did. I did go straight to personality, and I was just like, "What are you doing?" But then I was like, "But if you're wrong, then you're gonna go out with someone that you really like." Totally. So it was a win-win. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop chaperoning in a second. <laughs> but I'm curious, what led you to this? Well, only some old streams pop up in vids. All, all my streams, I don't got all my vibes public. Listen. Honestly, I got yesterday's vibe public. Our talks, your circus <laughs> trick, and it was just kind of your depth, and maybe just. How All the recent ones are still you, private. Kind of the conversation was just flowing, and I thought it was nice. And I wanted to get to know you more. So. All right, what's the first date idea? What, what, where are we going? I already told you what I wanted, so. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the beach. Woo! The beach and okay. drink some wine. Yay! But Asi and I came on our wow. second date officially wow. with our beach, sand, and our picnic food, wow. and. Wow. Thank you, Jubilee. Thanks. Wow.